Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've lost hope that things could turn around in your life? Recently, my dad died of stage four cancer. I was grieving his death and also found myself sick in my own body. I was struggling with depression. I was in a bad place and I did not feel like moving on in life. Hope for the future was literally wavering from every fiber in my body. Hey, I'm Herbert Cooper, pastor of People's Church. Today, we're going to continue to look at what the Bible has to say about itself. Today's verse is Romans 15, verse 4. Everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through endurance and the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. Wow, I love this verse. What was written in the past was written to give us hope. One of the key reasons I bounced back from my despair was I never stopped reading God's word. Even while I grieved the loss of my dad, even while I was sick, depressed, and without hope, I kept getting up, reading God's word, and praying day after day after day. And endurance, encouragement, and hope returned to my soul. What was written in the past was written to give us hope. The story of Joseph was written to give you hope that when your family despises you, when you're falsely accused and find yourself in the pit or the prison, your great God can bring you out and he can promote you. The story of David was written to give you hope that when you've blown it big time, there is a God of grace who will forgive you and restore you. The story of Moses was written to give you hope that when you find yourself on the backside of the desert of life, full of fear, insecurity, and shattered dreams, God knows right where you are and he can still do something great with your life because he has an amazing plan for your life. The story of Abraham and Sarah was written to give you hope that no matter how old you are or how long you've been waiting for your dream to happen, God will do what he said he would do. The story of Lazarus was written to let you know that when your life or situation seems dead, you serve a God who brings dead things back to life again. Today, my prayer is that everything written in the past will not only give you endurance and encouragement, but will give you fresh hope that the best is yet to come. Don't you miss tomorrow as we talk about James chapter one, verses 22 through 24.